ever considered what the world would look like if there was You've never light? been in a cave so dark that you couldn't even see your hand in front of your Did face? Did you know that light is actually energy in the form of a frequency or a wavelength? Jesus came to the earth. He said, I am the light. I am the way. Guys, my name is Samantha. I'm the owner and operator of a two acre farmstead located in Southeast Louisiana. And today I have a very important video. I want to talk to you about frequency and not just spiritual frequency, but frequency that's actually being used against us as a weapon by our government. So we've all heard the rumors that music alone, as well as light, can change the frequency and the energy levels of cancer cells and either cure you or make it yeah. worse. We also know there's something called a DWR, a directed energy it's weapon. Worldwide began making these weapons back in 1960, about the time that most of the data that had been collected on energy, music, and light healing our bodies was Here destroyed. We have the government taking science and knowledge that was meant for good and turning it into a weaponized If you've been around me long enough and you've heard me say this a thousand times if I've said it once, watch what you're looking at because that's where you're heading and watch what you listen to because that's what you're becoming. And I'm not the only one saying it, folks. Listen to this. You now have to ask yourself is how many times do these people have to tell us who they are before we start to believe them. Hello. And the craziest thing is that there's still gonna be somebody out there who's like, oh no, she doesn't actually mean it. She's not actually a witch, like a witch witch. It's just like, you know, cute term, like right. manifestation kind of stuff. It's not real <laughs> witchcraft. No, it is. No, it is. She told you who she is and she told you what she's doing. She's a witch. So why are we not believing these people? Why do we keep defending them when they're not even defending themselves? Make it make sense, like. Make it make sense. And this is the point I'm trying to make that when christians now be talking about listening to worldly music how music literally doesn't need a permission to enter into your spirit it literally does what it is sent to do if somebody has prayed over that music demonically and you're listening to it it's gonna have those demonic effects in your life you still won't believe us <laughs> you still think that we're chatting rubbish and we're just doing too much and we're just we're doing the most are we friends but we're not it goes back to that bible verse what's good is bad and what's bad is good because everything that's bad is being out there in the spotlight, but everything that's good is being shunned and you're a nerd and that's corny and that's stupid and that's dumb. Our most popular musicians are telling us that I worship Satan, that I'm a witch. They're worshiping the dark frequency and the dark light. And you're listening to that. So what do you think it's doing to your spiritual man and your vibration you know that friend. verse in the bible where jesus literally tells you to turn the other cheek if somebody slaps your face and how most of us are like yeah that's not happening there's a reason jesus who was the light and the way tells you to do that folks and the reason is this it doesn't matter what is sent towards you you can change that frequency and send it back a different way that it came. And you know how when the Bible says, be careful what you sow because you're going to reap it? Yeah, that's real too, my friend. We all know and love the verse where God tells you this. Word of God is alive all the way down to the most tiny cell in your body. It's how he created you. It's how he created this world. It's all frequency, folks. And when our government takes, manipulates, and spits back those frequencies in an antichrist system, you get what we're currently living in. So how do you change that? How do you make it better? Change your mindset. You realize that life is a gift and a beautiful one. And along with that gift comes the free will and choice, which was the greatest gift that God gave us, which is why Jesus had to die. Because nobody wants to admit they live in sin nature, that their physical body and their being 
just prefers to do what it wants to do because it's a gluttonous mess, right? And then you have to run into everybody else's energy fields and all of their choices that they've made past, present, and future and how that connects to you. The best thing that you can do, folks, is just love Jesus. Be kind. Speak God's holy word out of your mouth as much as you can. Last night, my husband, my soulmate, and my best friend had trouble going to sleep. And I said, honey, what's going on? Because usually when he hits the bed, like most men, he's just out. And he just had a lot weighing down on his heart. And so, you know what I told him? I said, start praying. If you start praying, I guarantee you're going to fall asleep in just a few minutes. So we started speaking to our father just over and over and over, basically meditating on the words of our father. Because when you hear them, when you really think about what they're saying to you, it's everything you ever need in one prayer. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us in not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine be the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The power. He tells you repeatedly in the Bible that he is the light, that he is the power, that he is the life that he is the I am. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Folks, he's everything. Every breath you take from the first breath in your life, you are saying his true name. <sighs> Yahweh. <sighs> from your first to your last breath, you're going to speak his Remember, name. Remember, most music, even Christian music, because it's secular, guys, it's been bought by the world is made to make you feel worse. There are four powerful frequencies you need to listen to. Frequencies are sound waves hidden inside music and it can actually affect the way you feel. That's how music is able to make you sad or turn you up. But the problem is most music is made to make you feel worse. It's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there that is fucking up it your entire you right. frequency. So it's very important to know these frequencies so that your energy is not affected negatively. I don't think I could say this better, but I think we all know something's coming. This whole scene right here was straight up explode by a nuke. That's yep. why it's called Nuke Town. But when I was playing it, I just thought it was so weird how it said 2025. It was almost like it was subconsciously programming me. And on top of that, I already felt weird about something happening around 2025 because it just sounds like the middle. Or it just sounds like something is bound to happen. Like something's gonna shift in 2025. That's what my spirit been telling me. So did they put this here? for subconscious programming because I really do think that something will happen in 2025 that'll shift the collective. And this is what my spirit been telling me. Like, for some reason, I know this. Like, I bet money on it, like, for real. I don't think it's gonna be a nuke. It's, it's definitely gonna be something crazy, though. Something, something that's gonna shift the collective. I definitely do feel like they made this map to subconsciously program the collective, though. The people that was playing Black Ops 2. I've been telling you guys, something wicked this way comes. It's like a bad moon rising. We all know that they're using the frequencies with the 5G towers, your cell phones, all of that to manipulate your emotions and your physical body, they're making you sick. How do you stop it? How do you change it? One is just plugging in. Another is doing the tower busters that I've shown you guys on this channel before. Look that up, tower buster. You can build them with just materials lying around your home and it will help disrupt the frequencies that they're aiming at Those us. Those who hope in the Lord we will, will renew their strength. If your entire body is made up of cells that fire with electricity and you grow tired, what do you plug into? I've had someone comment before, where in the Bible to talk about your spirit, man? I'm simply talking about your holy, you, okay. We serve a Trinity God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You're made in representation of that. Your physical body, your spirit, and your soul. 
So when I'm talking about your spirit, man, folks, that's all I'm talking about is the spirit within you connecting and plugging in to the Holy Spirit and renewing your strength. So take that literal God saying, Hey, I'm a huge generator, dude, and I'm here. I'm available. And all you need to do is walk up and plug in. Just plug yourself in and renew yourself and you will run and not grow weary and you will soar like an eagle and not grow tired. He has given you everything that you need to successfully walk out the physical end of your journey, folks. And just remember, Jesus died on that cross just for you. It doesn't matter what sins you committed. If you bring them to him and ask his forgiveness, they are forgiven, forgotten. And the next time you bring them up to him, he's going to be like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about. And you can ask forgiveness for anything you've ever done in your life. He didn't die on the cross just to forgive Miss Susie for cussing on Sunday morning. He died on that cross for any and every sin. Because they all weigh the same amount to him. We love to forget that. We love to think that one sin is so much greater than another. But in God's eyes, any sin keeps you from his presence. I love you guys so much. If you'd like to support our channel, there's a way in top you can. I have reapplied to be monetized. We will see. We will see. You guys know, I've been trying this repeatedly. It's my third time. We'll see. I had to delete over a hundred videos in short. So who knows? Who knows? But I wanted to tell you guys, I was waiting for Leslie to come online so we could work on the book. And I just was thinking about some things that we've been dealing with. And I thought, you know what? I need to raise my frequency. I need to praise. I need to work myself up. You guys, I tell you guys that all the time. Work yourself up. It is your responsibility to lift yourself up. And if you're having trouble doing that, get into the word, folks. That's what the Bible's for. And if you can't get your hands on a Bible, start praying our Father in your head. Or just thanking him, praising him, speaking in tongues, jumping up and down in your house, whatever you need to do. Plug in. Plug in. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody who's going through something who might need to raise their frequency. Love you guys.